Yo, hello, welcome. Now, what I'm gonna do a damage check for the firepower enhancement build. And if you don't know which build I'm doing, I'll leave a link for the build down below. Now, I will do a two minute damage. Also, I'm playing with the curse dual one, so yeah. And this build, I'm focusing with the ability with the high stagger. I know I lose a little bit of damage to have such a amount, high amount of stagger, but it's actually really good. Like, I tested it. The amount of damage you lose compared to the amount of stagger you gain is really, really good. Now, let's do a damage. Also, I'm going to talk about the rotation while doing it. Okay, let's go. All right. So, yeah, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that in any raid, in any raid you start with this build, you want to try to fill up your meter fast. It doesn't really matter what, how. Also, I don't like to put the two turrets since the boss moves all, the, all around. And the most important thing is that whenever you use an ability, try to use the ability that puts on the boss the damage the 12 percent extra damage that's a that's really necessary and on this build since i'm playing with the curse doll that actually helps kind of in your dbs because it makes your rotation a lot smoother because you don't actually have to worry about the idea of what ability to use you can just use abilities on cooldown since they're always going to deal max damage so this is kind of cool that's one thing i like about this build is that i don't have to build up damage like any other class i'm just always dealing damage and all i need is to get the meter which you're always going to have now also when it comes to using the barrage mode the best time for you to use the barrage mode is when you force your cooldown so right now i'm gonna use the nukes the flamethrower and reboot the debuff and then use the barrage mode now the barrage mode i know that i have eight seconds outside so i'm not gonna use full all of it since it's not that good it doesn't deal high damage because i want to keep my cooldowns to the, the most of them get the most of my cooldown that's the best way to do it and then do the same combo again and again now and in, in in when you play in any raid or something the one reason i like this i like this build i mean i don't know how how much other builds are gonna deal because I, I haven't tried a lot of builds but i the one thing i'm sure about is that in this build you might be losing damage compared to other builds but the one thing that will gain is that how easy it is for you to deal damage in raid makes up for so much of other things and when it comes to other things like you know when you play like a striker and you deal so much damage with one ability but then you have to build up to deal that a little bit not sure how much you have to build up for it okay and we're done now half um 580 550 i think that's really good but i think i can do better when it comes to damage and then we have 4.5 million dps per second so that's it i mean I don't know how good that is but i still need to do some more testing to learn but in reality i feel like when it comes to artillerist and the kit of the artillerist i feel like there's two things that i like about the character which having being tanky and having the cc immunity also having good stagger so i don't want to lose this so that's why i'm trying to build the build around having everything like you have stagger you have your tanky you don't you don't get cc you have good hit everything all right but yeah so that's two minutes damage for the the fireball enhancement build hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching goodbye